In this video, we'll take a look at tangent lines for a special kind of shape. You may have looked into a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and noticed how light forms interesting patterns as it reflects off the mug. The general name for this type of shape is a cardioid, named for its heart-like shape. Cardioid shapes can be constructed mathematically by making one circle rotate around another and tracing the path on the circumference of the rotating circle. Let's take a look at a particular cardioid. We're going to consider a particular case of the cardioid given by the equation shown here. Our goal is to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point 0, 1.2, that is, the slope of this line. We can see from the graph that we're not working with a function. For example, when x equals 0, there are three y values on the graph. So we won't be able to take the equation and just rewrite it as y equals something. But if we zoom in on the point of tangency, now this looks like a function. So we can use implicit differentiation at this point. The main challenge here is to compute the derivative. Let's start by working with the left-hand side of the equation. This is a composition of two functions. The outer function is x squared, and the argument for the inner function is x squared plus y squared plus 1.2x. So we can use the chain rule, which tells us to take the derivative of the outer function, plug in the argument, and multiply by the derivative of the argument. The derivative of x squared is 2x, so we'd multiply 2 by the argument of the original function, and then multiply by the derivative of the argument. On the right-hand side of the equation, the derivative will be the coefficient, 1.2, multiplied by the derivative of x squared plus y squared. Let's focus on computing these two derivatives. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of 1.2x is 1.2. We're treating y as if it's a function of x, even though we don't have a formula for it. So we're thinking of it as some f of x that's being squared. To compute the derivative, we'll need to use the chain rule, which tells us to take the derivative of the outside function, plug in the argument, and then multiply by the derivative of the argument. We can use the same reasoning on the right-hand side of the equation, which gives us 2x plus 2 times y times y prime as the derivative. Now, putting this all together, we have this relationship. We could try solving for y prime, but we won't need to just yet. Let's try to find the slope of the tangent line at 0, 1.2. The first thing we can do is to substitute 0 for x, which changes a bunch of terms to 0. Then we can substitute 1.2 for y. Finally, we can do some computation to get 2.88 times 2.4 y prime plus 1.2 equals 1.2 times 2.4y prime. By combining like terms and doing some more computation, we can get that y prime equals negative 0.86. So that is the answer to our question. The tangent line to the curve at the point 0, 1.2 has slope negative 0.86. And this is how we can use implicit differentiation to compute the derivative of a complicated relation between two variables.